What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Uber Cold Garage. On today's episode, we'll be getting the Ghia on the road, finishing a couple things up, so then we can get it roadworthy, start fixing any little issues that we have. So stay tuned and hope you guys enjoy. So, in the car, I have my boost gauge here, oil pressure there, that one's the air fuel, and then I have volt and the stock fuel level gauge, and then my tack up there. So I had to go get a couple fittings for the gauges, so let's get those installed. Made this little bracket here to hold the radiator line so then it doesn't flop around anymore. The engine bay is almost ready to get repainted. So no more yellow chunky flakes. Get all that painted. I'm gonna make another stainless steel cover for this side just to clean it up a little bit. Uh, I also cut out the bottom portion of the fender well for the radiator vent. Still have one more piece of metal to make to seal off the rest of the radiator underneath. Uh, and then pretty much just clean up some wiring, bleed the brakes, and we should be roadworthy. Got the final ride height of the car. It's still pretty low. But I have ground clearance now, which is nice. Everything worked out pretty good. Saved you guys the, uh, the painful time lapse of me readjusting suspension and bleeding the brakes. But we are good to go. I'm gonna order the auto tune from MS3 and start working on that. Hopefully, I'll be able to pull the, this thing out of the garage tomorrow. So, we'll see how this goes.
Sorry it's dark outside guys. Uh, so happy this thing actually drove down the road. A couple issues that I have to figure out or that I actually already fixed was my throttle cable was sticking really bad so I went ahead and added a roller to the bottom of it. That works pretty good and then I was having a lot of oil spraying out of the breather ports so I made a breather box you see the breather down there underneath and each one of those lines goes into two of them go into the valve cover the other two go into the block and then the, the two run up and over to the other valve cover so that'll fix that issue and my throttle pedal. Uh, I still need to bleed the brakes a little bit more. I think I got some air pockets. And I have to finish the bottom of the radiator. And then after that, we're looking pretty good. So we'll start it up tomorrow, see if this stuff is fixed and then uh, we'll go ahead and finish off the little things that I have to do and then we'll get some in-car driving videos alright guys that's all I have for you this week uh, got a couple issues to figure out uh, having trouble with the shifter and the tune so we'll be working that stuff out and as you can see behind me, the bug made it out from its little hiding spot. So we will be getting back into that shortly. We have some, I have some pretty big plans for it coming up. So we'll be changing a couple things and start working on this monster again. So like and subscribe. We'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out.